Hello everyone. I uh, got this compound table from Grizzly and realized that there isn't really a lot of unboxing videos on this. <clears throat> I'm working on a project which will be another video of mine coming up here soon. It's a big project and I needed this table for it. So this is a Grizzly compound table, uh, item number G8750 and it's a six inch by 18 and a half inch. So let's go ahead and open up this guy. It's my first time ever getting anything from Grizzly. That's nice. Nice wood, some destructions here. damage everything's packed nice uh, some good oil on here and these are the wheels you have to attach they're nice and heavy definitely not plastic looks like they're cast aluminum not bad Definitely heavy duty. Let's see if there's a weight on this shipping manifest here. Um, it's definitely heavy. Um, it, it, uh, it's not something that you're going to have to have your daughter pick up or anything. So there's definitely going to be some cleaning involved here. These are for the handles, for the wheels I should say. Okay, I got the compound table up on the drill press. Haven't mounted it yet because I came into this problem. So if you notice, the drill, let me get a flashlight here. So if you notice, if I were to let all of that circle line up on the other side there there is no hole it it fills the gap so what i'm going to have to do is not use the bolts uh, this to secure this that i wanted to so i'm going to have to line this up so it's about halfway and then that's going to line that up halfway as well so that will be more than enough once i put four bolts on here this thing ain't going to move um, there is a lot of slop in this, but the table isn't even moving yet. But there's a way to adjust this, which is really nice about this table. You can adjust uh, the slop on both the X and Y axis. So I was trying to get the wheels on, <clears throat> and working on this one, the wheel just wouldn't fit. I just it should just slide onto that keyway and they should you know this uh you know this notch so it should match up but man, I, I just could not it was just banging in i thought this might have been a, a friction type of once it's on it's locked in uh and then i looked at the other two and if you notice this is completely flat and the wheels slide right on and so I checked the other side too, and the other side is flat as well. So I'm gonna have to um, have a talking to this, use some harsh language, I think, and see if this gets, ah, there we go. See, once in a while things work out. And this should slide right on now. Yep, ta-da, so that's perfect. So even after uh, I've, figured that this needs to be completely flat. Uh, it didn't, even though it slid on a lot better, it still is not um, going on. So I think I'm gonna use a little persuasion for this. Well, still that thread should be sticking out a lot more because then you have the lock nut that fits on top of this and I don't have enough to get in there. 
So what we can do go much better and so now just get enough threads to start this and then we'll screw that down and that will tighten everything up on there okay what I forgot to show you guys is that on this uh, set that locks the wheel in there there's a little set screw and that goes right in there and what happens is, the way this works is once you get this on, this will actually tighten up and secure this to the machine. But you don't want to over tighten it because if you over tighten it, then it, you actually lock it to the machine and then and this, this wheel won't turn. So, so you get it to where it's nice and snug and it has plenty of movement. But what will happen is if you just leave it like this, over time as you work this wheel, this will unscrew and come right out. So then that's what this guy is for. So this goes in here and just thread that in and then that's the lock washer kind of a deal that locks it right in there so now that won't come out and then you get the little handles which I don't have a screwdriver on me but you get the idea and then this whole thing turns and handles. So I got it all together and I'm really impressed with the movement of the table. It's really smooth, really nice, glides easy, easy to turn. A lot of people were complaining about how this is machined and how there's a lot of um, uh, metal filings from the machining process, but um, I don't see any of that in here. Um, at least not mine. This it's uh, I have maybe a very little, uh, but um, not like some videos I've seen. Um, up here is is pretty. It's nice and flat. No no high points or no rough edges or dings on the side. Um, it is not. You know it's kind of ribbed for her pleasure. It's 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 definitely not a good finish, but it's nice and flat. It's, it's not bad, uh, but this is the surface you really are, care about because this is the weight bearing side and uh, it's it's better than the top. Um, not the best, but definitely not bad. Uh, $150, you can't beat it. Uh, also, if you notice after I got uh, the wheels on, the slop disappeared. Um, I might do a little adjusting for that, but um, it's, it's really good. Uh, the only thing I do have to uh, change and, and tighten up is if you look ever so, there's ever so movement. So if you watch this point and this point, I'm gonna tilt the table um, uh, this way. I'm gonna rock it back and forth and, and you'll be able to even hear it and see that. I don't know if you can see it on there and up here, their table. There's just a little movement on both the upper and lower tables. So I'm just going to uh, tighten up. There's a set of three up here. I'll adjust those. And there's uh, another set of three on, on this side um, for the bottom table. And I'm gonna adjust those and uh, get that all set up. And uh, I think this is done. And then what I'll do is uh, put my vise on there. Uh, now I had to get 9 16 uh, T-nuts. Um, this is, uh, I forget what they said this is on the Grizzly website, but uh, uh, whatever it said these are, you have to use the 9 16 T-nut or um, they won't fit. Um, so they just slide in here and then I'll be able to put my vise right on top and use the post and lock everything in. Um, so uh, overall, for 150, 160 bucks, you can't beat it.